My overall concern is that the, uh, they're not listening to the science. That's what some environmentalists and residents are saying about new regulations that the Wakulla County Board of Commissioners voted to move forward last night. The Wakulla Springs protection regulations add new restrictions and safeguards to prevent pollution into the Springs and Wakulla River. The county says this will drastically help protect the water, but some people say they don't think this goes far enough. ABC 27's Kendall Brandt went to Wakulla County to learn more about these new regulations. Local environmentalist Bob Dial says there needs to be regulation so you can't build a gas station on top of a cave. There's still many people who feel that setbacks are the way to go, um, that it doesn't make sense to allow storage of uh, petroleum products or hazardous substances when you know there's a cave somewhere down there 50 feet, 100 feet, 200 feet below the surface. A cave that connects to Wakulla Springs, a beautiful space for wildlife and an important natural resource for needs like drinking water. The county putting forward a new set of regulations for builders looking to construct near the springs, requiring natural barrier protection to store gas below the surface and ways to catch hazardous materials before reaching groundwater. But saying they cannot place requirements on how far back a possible gas station on Bloxham Cutoff because they cannot verify the cave system. Peter Scalco, a former park manager at Wakulla Springs and a member of Clean Water Wakulla, says setbacks are needed. And that's all we're asking for is to protect the world-class resources that we're known for, that have been protected for decades. In a statement to ABC 27, a spokesperson with Wakulla County writes that the new regulations, quote, demonstrates our commitment to sustainable and responsible environmental practices and will protect the springs for years to come. But people like Bob Dial, the vice chair of Wakulla Springs Alliance, say the regulations could be somewhat helpful, but need to be more specific with what natural protection is needed in order to put things in, like a gas tank. It simply says at the moment, that if there's any overburden or a confining layer, that gasoline can be stored in below ground tanks. Um, but it says that hazardous wastes and hazardous substances, um, as they're listed by the federal government, have to be stored above ground. Dial noting that gasoline has hazardous materials in it. Something Scalco says could lead to contamination of drinking water if gas leaks. The chemicals that are used to uh, remediate for pollutants in water and for chemicals are carcinogens themselves, so it could have very detrimental health issues associated with it. Uh, it could render water undrinkable. In Wakulla County, Kendall Brandt, ABC 27. And Wakulla County officials voted to pass this ordinance along with its next stop in public hearings in the coming weeks.